neighborhoods like Leslie Knoll and Riverside and um, Riverdale and the and Little India and Chinatown and the surrounding neighborhoods so great is the people because the people have come and they've uh, bought houses, they've started small businesses, and they really care about the community. That's something I, I realize more than ever, and I believe that they deserve a counselor that cares about them. I'm delighted to be here, and I'm delighted to be here to support somebody of the caliber of Liz West who's running for public office and for city council. One of the things we have to reestablish in this whole business is a degree of civility, a degree of respect. And so I believe that somebody like Liz West is not only going to bring a breath of fresh air, which I think is important in any organization from time to time, especially government. Not only is she going to bring all of the talents and the skills and the enthusiasm that you know her for, for so well in her broadcasting life, but she will bring that respect because she knows no other way. I gotta say, there's not too many people I would do this for. This is totally uncomfortable for me. So. <laughs> uh, but I, I, you know, I've been a fan of this, you know, forever. I mean, every, every chance, you know, I mean, over the years when she was a reporter for City TV, I always looked forward to talking to this. And I used to live in this ward, though. I, I used to live on Browning. I, I'm sitting at home today thinking of what what songs uh, to play, and this is one I thought might be appropriate. Who can turn the world on with a Take a nothing day, suddenly make it all seem worthwhile. Well, it's you, Liz, and you should know it. With each glance and every little movement you show, it. love is all around, no need to waste it. You can have the town, don't you take it now. I think I might have to move back to Ward 30, so alright, thanks everyone.